Got a 2017 Chevy Malibu. Gonna do front quick struts, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna turn your wipers on and get them right there and then turn the key off, okay? Then you wanna go and remove all these little fasteners on the top with your door panel tool. You know, the ones that are pain in the butt sometimes. These, remove all those. So this piece lifts up. Okay, because you want to go inside here and you want to remove six bolts, 10 millimeter head bolts, six of them, three on each side, that hold this hard plastic piece down. Okay, you want to undo your boot, give you a little bit of play. <laughs> Reason why you want to do that is so you can get access to the upper four bolts that are around the top of the strut tower. You got two back there and you got two here. Okay. And you got three over here you can get to. And then you can get this piece loose and you can move it around. Alright. So now you can remove all four of the strut tower bolts and then put one back in on each side. Put it in a couple threads and that's it because you want to hold it in there, basically, okay? You want to hold that strut up till you're ready to grab it and pull it out. All right, so that's what you want to do. Next, you can raise it up and remove your front tires. 2017 Chevy Malibu. Gonna replace front quick struts, okay? What you need to do is turn the windshield wipers on, key on, windshield wipers on, Get them into that position, turn the key off, okay? Next you want to do is remove the retainer clips that goes across the top of this piece. Okay, because you want to be able to get access to this hard plastic piece. Because that piece is covering up the back two on each side struts, okay? So next you got three 10 millimeter bolts that hold this black piece on. Three on each side, underneath there, okay? Three on each side, all right? You get this up, get access in here, remove the three bolts, 10 millimeter head bolts, hold that on there. Then you can remove the four upper strut tower bolts for the strut. Remove all four, take one, put it back in on both sides, and thread it a couple threads, okay? And now we'll hold the strut up inside there until you're ready to remove it, okay? And those are 13 millimeter head bolts, all right? You want to remove three on each side and just leave the last one in with a couple threads. Next you're going to do is raise it up. Okay, here we are. Got the tires off, but you got the vehicle jacked up and you got it supported properly with some jack stands or on a lift. Remove your front tires, those are 19 millimeter. Then you want to remove your brake hose retainer bolt, which is a 10 millimeter. You want to remove that. And also you want to get your stabilizer link off of there. Most of the time the stabilizer links are bad when you're getting to the point of doing your struts. So just, you can go ahead and heat up the nut you can use a six millimeter Allen in there and hold the nut with an 18 millimeter wrench and remove the nut that way. Or if you got an impact gun, keep hitting it, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my 10, I'm gonna heat this up, I'm gonna break it loose, and then I'm gonna put my six millimeter Allen on there with my wrench. And what you do is you go the opposite direction of going off, you wanna go on, okay? Right hand. Okay. All right, I remove my, remove my 10. Took my uh, ABS wire on my little connector holder, container. It's a new style looking style to me. And then I got a map gas propane torch onto my stabilizer link cup. I'm going to heat it up just a little bit to get the, the Teflon plastic inside that nut warmed up. So that will hopefully allow me to remove that nut a lot easier. 
Okay, I got my uh, six millimeter Allen on there with my wrench and I'm gonna tighten it. And that will in turn take the nut off. Okay, I got it off. It's gonna be warm. So I didn't get it really, really hot. I got it warm enough, but it ain't smoking hot that it actually melts my plastic cart. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stick it up here on my rack anyway. Okay, but I'm not gonna reuse it. I got new ones. So what you wanna do before you put your new ones on, you wanna have both of them off. So take that off, put it off to the side. Now you need to remove the nuts for the knuckle that go onto the strut. And those are 18. So you need to put an 18 on the nut and put a wrench on the bolt side. 18. Okay, the nuts don't turn. I mean, uh, the nuts come off. The bolts don't turn. The, the bolts have these uh, grooves on them. They pound in and they lock in there. What you need to do now is to get them out is to hit them with a mini sledge to break them out or a air hammer chisel with a flat end on it. You swing in your hammer, make sure you do not hit your sensor or your sensor wire. You don't want to spend too, too much time hitting them because you don't want to damage the end of the threads. You want to make sure that your nut still threads on it. If the nut doesn't thread on, then you have to take them over to your grinder and clean them up a little bit, okay? Before you pull your last bolt out, go get yourself a strap. You just got those ones that you pull on and release. And I'll go wrap it around the frame and I'll bring it over here to the wheel stud and put it on there. And that way, when I have my last bolt out, it doesn't allow my axle to be stressed out and be pulled on. And you might pull it out of the inner boot or the outer boot out of the joint. So just be on the safe side of that. And also just make sure your hose is free. And now here's my strut, nice and loose. So now all I gotta do is lower it down a little bit, hold on to the strut and go up on top of my other arm and unthread my bolt and then release it and pull it out and put the new one in there just the same way. Okay, I got the passenger side, the driver's side done also. So it is loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'll lower it down to a decent height, pull the struts out and put the new struts in. I'm not gonna, I'm only gonna put one bolt in on the top, okay? That way you can move around a little bit. After we get them both up in there, raise it back up, and then you want to remove your other end of your stabilizer link. Now, uh, it's loose off of both sides. You can move it so you can get a little bit better access to it. Okay, make sure you match the new one up to the old one, all right? Make sure everything's on the correct side, okay? Cause there is a right and a left, all right? And you got these little nuts. I like reusing the old bolts or nuts because I like them better than what they always give you. So I'm reusing my old bolts. If you're gonna do that, make sure they thread into your new strut. All right, now we're ready to remove the other end of the stabilizer link. I got a nice long extension that can go down there and a 18 millimeter swivel and I can go on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this nut up a little bit and then get my socket and extension on there for my impact and remove it. If you don't have access to that, then you'll have to use the six millimeter Allen on a ratchet and an 18 millimeter wrench to hold the nut. And what you wanna do is you wanna tighten it if you're using the Allen uh, way to do it, okay? Because as you tighten this, it turns it this way and it removes the nut, okay? That's why it works like that. So if you haven't removed this nut off of here yet, 
then you need to go ahead and heat the nut up try it with your impact if it doesn't come off then you need to go ahead and do your six millimeter and your 18 wrench and hold it okay and there it is came right off sometimes if you have problems you have to put some vice grips on the round part to hold it okay and right, this one they're fairly new so they came right off okay you got stabilizing links off now what you need to do is line up your strut into your knuckle your knuckle into the strut put your bolts back in there okay then what you want to do is tap on the bolt to get them in there a little bit the splines so the splines will help hold the bolt when you tighten it up you could also just put your wrench on there and hold it up all right but if you're gonna hit it with a hammer make sure you hold your brake line and your electrical wire out of the way all right so next you need to do is tighten your nut up and then suck the bolt right in and then when it bombs out give it an extra little hump and they'll be tightened okay Sometimes I just go ahead and hit them with a hammer and have them bottom out. But just because of the wire and the hose is in my way, I don't want to hit it. So I'm going to use my impact to bring it in. I brought it in and then extra snug. Same thing. Do the other side. Okay, lower strut bolts tight. You can remove your strap or bungee cord. Don't forget it in there. All right. Put your 10 millimeter back on for your brake hose and your wire harness. If you undid this, you have to find the fat part of the black, and you'll have to get it on here and roll it. Roll it underneath. The gray. See how the gray is a little bit bigger? So you have to find that opening and stick it in there and roll it. So the black, the thick black part is in the back. Okay. Next, we're going to do the stabilizer links. You do. Next, we're going to do our stabilizer links and you do the bottom first on both sides. That way you can push this wherever you want had to get better access to the back side of it. But we already know we can get to the back side of it pretty easy. So I'm gonna get the new ones out of the box and put some anesthes on the threads. Okay. There isn't no right or left side. Just a matter of which way you want your grease cirque to face. Okay. I like the grease cirque to face uh, like it don't matter I like that way better so the grease circuit is facing here and get to that one there and then the other one I gotta go above the drive shaft half shaft that's fine so once you got that figured out then you got that that size is 18 millimeter this is a MOOC so it's an 18 millimeter you need to hold that when you're tightening up your nut okay so I put them on the bottom first, and I get the bottom done first on both sides. Okay, got the bottoms done, now you can put the tops in, okay? Put both side tops in, all right? And then, then put your nuts on there, and then go ahead and hold it with your wrench and tighten your nut. And you wonder, why do I need to hold it? And I can just tighten the nut with my impact, because until it does tighten, you're spinning this little ball stud inside that joint really fast. You're gonna overheat it a little bit and you're gonna wear out the Teflon that's in there. So you don't wanna do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold it and tighten it. All right, now you got the nuts tight, upper and bottom. Now you need to do is put a couple pumps of grease in it, okay? And that's how you do your stabilizer links. 
Okay. You got your links on, you got them greased, you got your bolts tight for the strut, you got your retainer bolt on there for your brake line. Now you know what you need to do is put your tire on, and you want to tighten those to 100 foot-pounds, and then lower it down onto the ground all the way, and then you can work on the top. All right, before you got it all the way lowered down, you want to make sure you have all your bolts started. And before you do tighten your bolts, make sure the little nubs are sticking through the holes, okay? And if they're not, then you just go ahead and raise it back up and realign it, okay? So now that the vehicle's on the ground, you can go ahead and tighten your bolts, okay? All right, now all you need to do is snug up your strut tire bolts, and then you need to torque them to 14 foot-pounds, okay? Make sure you tighten them in a crisscross pattern. And then the next thing you need to do is put your little 10 millimeter bolts back in there. Remember there's six of them. Okay, you got all your 10 millimeter bolts back in there. Now what you do is put these fasteners back on. Line up your washer solvent. Nozzle holes right there. Work your way across. Just keep an eye out for this panel popping out from around here and getting stuck down below. Make sure it's well strips above the glass and the other little thing down below clips underneath the glass okay and then when you get over here make sure you snap that back in to right here okay so make sure it looks good all right that's it that's how you do your front struts okay but hopefully i helped you out and hopefully you can help me out by subscribing to me and uh I appreciate it. Thank you.